Hello, this is Lee with 82 Gaming 12, and uh, I've been away a while. I've had uh, some traveling that's kept me from the gaming table. Uh, I've been having some dental work done, uh, some other uh, medical issues, so forth. Um, but... Uh, I had said uh, on my last video that I was going to take a look at uh, Midway Solitaire from uh, Decision Games, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've set up uh, the uh, uh, this is uh, without the this, I've set up the game according to uh, the. Uh, guess it's the first setup maybe or maybe it's just the setup uh no addition uh no optional rules um in here um so i've set it up according to the rules that are in the uh the du deluxe edition here um, and that's what I have I've got the deluxe edition um, I've got several books uh, and magazines and so forth uh, concerning uh, the uh, midway campaign um, I've got this uh, book here uh, that I'll just mention briefly um, carriers in combat Chester G. Hearn. Um, it covers um, more than just the midway. So you've got, uh, let's go to the, this is a Stackpole military history series. Um, let's see if I can find. So you've got uh, the dawn of able, naval air power carriers at war. So you got the Coral Sea. Midway, uh, Eastern Solomons, Guadalcanal, um, talks about the different uh, carrier tactics being refined, island hopping, Marianas turkey shoot, uh, um, prelude to the Philippines, a lot late Leyte Gulf, uh, so forth. It also goes into Korea, Vietnam, Cold War, Desert War, so forth. But uh, we're going to be looking mainly at uh, what's taking place uh, at uh, Midway, uh, which is uh, page 87. So uh, that's uh, known as the turning point. But here we have uh, Admiral uh, Raymond A. Spruance, whose uh, performance at, during the Battle of Midway led to his promotion to a full admiral and commander of the Central Pacific Force. So... Um, his actions during the campaign were instrumental. And of course, this uh, the United States had uh, cracked the Japanese code. And so <clears throat> they knew uh, the Japanese were coming. And that was because they had sent a message about uh, the saltwater uh, uh the uh, uh, I guess you call it the purifier. I don't remember what the term was for it, but uh, at Midway was out. And so uh, MO, they discovered that MO stood for Midway. So, uh, but uh, this is the setup on the game. Um, I'm going to have to go a little, I think I'm going to have to go higher here. Uh, to be able to see uh, what's going on here. But uh, this is the board. It's a mounted a map board. I have a plexiglass over the top of it. Uh, but uh, some people may say it's like a point-to-point. -point. Uh, you can only, you know, you can't, you know, vary off too much. But it is solitaire. Um, you got uh, terrain effects. You've got uh, the ter terrain key, which is uh, right there. See that there. 
And there's the battle display when we go to, say, task force against task force, so forth. That'd be when, uh, I guess, you have airplanes coming in uh, to attack, escorts, and so forth, cap, so forth. So, then over here we have the, uh, uh, this is basically the AI for the Japanese. The Japanese are controlled by the uh, the game, um, tables, and so forth. And uh, you as the uh, United States player uh, control the uh, uh, naval forces for the United States uh, on the board here. So that's just the overview. This is going to be a short video. I'm not actually going to start the game yet. Um, and here you can see you got Spruance right there. Uh, no, that's actually Fletcher. Uh, Spruance is uh, Task Force 16. Fletcher's in Task Force 17. And if we look here, um, so Spruance is at Pearl Harbor. And uh, Fletcher is down here in uh, New Caledonia. Uh, and he has the uh, Lexington and Yorktown, while Flet uh, Spruance has the Hornet and the Enterprise. And the uh, Saratoga begins the... Uh, Begins the campaign or the game uh, here. Uh, put that there. Um, on the damaged. Here it's along at the west coast being repaired. So. Um, and the Japanese forces are, are pretty much hidden. You don't know uh, who's going to be where. So his, it's not going to actually turn out historically with... Uh, which carriers are in which task force and so forth, attack group and so forth. That's going to be, that was uh, uh, randomly picked. So that'll be a surprise. But uh, air units are, are pretty much uh, where they're at. So we'll talk more about uh, different aspects of the game as, as we uh, uh, start to play. Um, and as I said, this is a uh, <clears throat> game from Decision Games, uh, this is designed by Joseph Murata. Uh, Murata. Miranda, sorry. Uh, mispronounced that. So, it'll be interesting to see how this works. Um, I haven't played it yet, uh, even as a test. So, um, here's Midway right there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I I, I downloaded from a, a board game geek, um, and uh, want to give a recognition to uh, this individual. Uh, one one armed. Let's see. One arms. Quick midway solitaire player aid. So that's gonna come in handy. I think. Uh, with different things. So uh, it kind of just breaks some things down, sequence of play, uh, things of that nature. I think I'm gonna probably change uh, my, uh, <clears throat> my uh, stand here. Uh, if I go to this one here, let me turn this and see which way it goes here. Okay. Here I can get a little higher. Uh, the only bad thing is this uh, this little stand. Uh, when I hit the table, it kind of moves around a little bit. We'll see, kind of see what what's best for for what we're gonna do. But uh, apologize for the big delay uh, in bringing out another video. Um, but uh, I had other things going on that need to be taken care of. And so uh, I'm just now getting this to the table. Which puts me kind of in a, in a backlog because I've got so many other games that uh, I'm wanting to uh, get to my table and... Uh, you know, I'm almost tempted to 
to have a couple going at one time um, just to get through some some different games. I've got so many. I've, I've purchased so many. Uh, not all newer games. Some are older games that uh, I want to play uh, play again or or some that I haven't yet played. Um, so, um, from a different, lot of different companies. So, um, I guess to show you a little bit uh, on the, uh, I don't know if I show a bunch of the rule book. It's uh, color, uh, has everything uh, kind of uh, split up. Uh, like combat there. Uh, it's got designer notes. Um, it's even got uh, an example of play uh, on the back here, um, right here. And uh, then we also have some great uh, historical information. Uh, you got the thatch weave talked about there. Uh, and then you've got uh, carrier aircraft, it even has the planes involved uh so you can compare the different planes we've got the different uh combats taking place here uh it's the battle of coral sea there uh then you've over here you got midway um uh, and so forth he even talks about the anatomy of a strike uh We've got the uh, different units that were involved in the losses and so forth. So, uh, and it's got it broken down to the different attacks um, on the Japanese carriers. So, uh, planes that were involved and the planes that were lost. Um, so, we'll talk more about that. Uh, you got a few here, like uh, uh, VT-8 had 15 planes. They lost 15. Same thing with uh, v, uh, VF-8, 10 and 10, you know, 14 and 10. Up here, we got 12 and 10. Um, took some heavy losses. So uh, that's just kind of an overview here. Like I said, uh, wasn't going to be... Uh, a very long video. I wasn't going to start the get the uh, game yet. Um, I got to look back over the rules. I've it's been a little bit since I've read the rules. I was going to start this several. Oh, probably I don't know. Maybe been a month. Uh, but uh, I had a lot going on, and uh, hopefully uh, things will slow down, and uh, I can. I can get some more of these videos made. Uh, so, but this is what we're going to hit with. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to start this later. Uh, I've got to, to go to the dentist today. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to feel after that. Um, Depends on what they do. I've got an extraction I have to have, and I've got another crown. I might have some uh, one or two root canals that that may come uh, come up um, from these crowns if they don't. Uh, if my teeth, uh, my tooth, te my teeth, tooth, my teeth don't settle down. So if uh, I don't feel very good, I'm not going to do a video, but. Uh, Hopefully I can get one uh, done, if not today, tomorrow. And uh, I can hit this, uh, let you have a look to see how it, what uh, what it's like. Um, to see whether or not it's something that you want to want to try. Like I said, I haven't played this yet. Uh, I don't I haven't really heard uh, that much about about it. Uh, I haven't watched uh, other people's videos or reviews or so forth. I'm a, uh, a fan of... Uh, uh, the uh, War in the Pacific and carrier uh, combat, carrier battles and uh, Midway uh, is uh, labeled as the turning point in the war uh, 
due to the fact that the Japanese lost uh, so many carriers and experienced pilots during this campaign. So, um, it's, I've read a lot of books about it. Uh, and I, let's see, I, I've had other games, uh, if not on Midway, on carrier uh, battles. So, um, it's just, I guess, an interest that I have of the 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 Pacific uh, conflict and specifically uh, carrier uh, battles. So, um, fact is, these the carriers didn't ever really uh, inter interact with each other face to face. It was always just the planes. Um, didn't cl get close enough uh, to each other. Uh, until uh, what is it, the late day Gulf? Um, uh, but that was not uh, carriers. That had to do with battleships, capital ships, uh, attacking some uh, escort carriers, and uh, they were being defended by destroyers. So, um, um, so I guess this will be all of this video. Uh, didn't really show much talk about much um uh, just want to show the game uh and uh then uh next video we can just jump right into it and talk about some of the components i guess as we get going um as i said uh, i've got to look back over the rules and uh then um uh, we'll try to knock uh knock it out so i uh, hope this is something you're interested in uh if if you're if not, then uh, you look at it anyways. But you might spark your interest into this, or maybe some other uh, decision games, or maybe another game by Joseph uh, Miranda. So, all right, I'll catch you in the next video. This is Lee with Eighty Two Gaming, and uh, we'll see you next time.